Hi, this is Nick Whirl at Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Today we've got a project. It's an indoor scan project. Uh, as you can see when we take a look at some of the scans, the ScanTech used checkerboard targets on the walls. We are not going to use those checkerboard targets for registration today. So we're going to take a look at uh, a full indoor scan project. We're going to be registering it with the scene Faro software default uh, non-target registration system. Uh, so right now we're going to take a look. We've got 14 scans. Uh, we are going to jump over pre-processing uh, straight into registration. And uh, we're going to perform an automatic registration. Now, as we get into the auto registration, we'll take a look right here at our method of registration options and uh, from the pull down menu you'll see the target base, top view base, cloud to cloud and then the combination top view and cloud to cloud. Um, indoor registration it's very generally very easy to use uh, the uh, scene software auto registration without using any targets. Uh, a lot of times targets would be required if you're going to be uh, a lot of times outside maybe in a, a large area uh, with no geometry, no buildings, uh, nothing that's maybe a, a, a field or something like that. Uh, but indoors, the scene software, uh, in this case, top view cloud to cloud, uh, will begin by looking top down onto each of these scans, scans one and two, three and four, four and five. It will, in essence, take the top off of the room, rotate the scans, looking for common geometry, walls, furniture, equipment. And when it finds the commonalities, it will rotate and lock them together like a puzzle piece. Uh, go from one to two, two to three, three to four. Once it's together, stitched together in that way, it will go back and use cloud to cloud registration. And that is, uh, in essence, looking for common XYZ points in space. And when that happens, it will, in essence, pull that scan project even closer, more accurately together. So we're going to leave the default registration at uh, top view cloud to cloud and then just simply click on register and verify. The rest of the information here we will leave just as it is. The auto registration is complete. It's asking us to load the scan so we can take a look at the project. And we will go ahead and do that. Now you can take a look at where the scans were done. You can see 92, 93, 94, 95, 91. Everything looks as though it could be in the right place. As it begins to build the points, you can see uh, the rooms look very uniform. And uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, anything really out of place. So uh, I would say we can safely say that yes it is registered correctly. Uh, if you'd like to see the report right up above you here is the report 2.1 milliliter error uh, everything looks very very good we can just finish and go into explore. Now explore is going to always open this page here and try to give you a look at what's been done in 3D because these scans are not loaded and because there's no project point cloud built yet nothing's going to show up except for the scan locations so in order to see that we're just going to right click on the scans folder and load all scans now I'm doing this and keeping this open so you can see it build on the left on the scan tree you can see each of these scan numbers there's a blue box that will begin to appear and as it appears you'll see that it is now on your uh, 3D screen and that is when they're loaded. They are all loaded at this point and we've got a very nice 3D model here because we've got green lights we can go in and we can do measuring in 2D, we can do measuring in 3D we can take a look at any particular scan by double clicking it and see that in two dimensions. I have not added color to it uh, as you can see, it looks like a black and white photograph. It is not. This is actually just where the laser points have made contact. And it looks like an ultra crystal clear black and white photograph. Uh, the good uh, thing about this and why I recommend not adding 
the color to the skin before you take a look at it and do your measurements is if this was poor lighting if there were no light at all uh, it would look no different than if the lights were on and and the scan was done uh, what will happen sometimes is you've got a scan project interior uh, and maybe there's uh, some shading some some equipment you can't see when where the, the light is not showing and it can be dark in areas uh, when you add the color when you don't add color you do not have any of those problems there are no shaded areas there's no overexposed areas from sunlight being outside everything will be crystal clear now again these are all 2d photos uh, in a bubble view and if we want to see just one of those scans in 3D, we would just choose to look at that scan in 3D. And just this particular scan location will pop up. We can take a look at it from the top. That's just one scan. So we've been successful in creating a uh, fully registered scan project uh, that would be step one we can do everything from this point uh, we can add color we can create a project point cloud there's a lot of export options uh, but we can get into that later uh, hope this helps you guys out and answers some questions and good luck with future scan projects the auto registration is complete it's asking us to load the scan so we can take a look at the project and we will go ahead and do that. Now you can take a look at where the scans were done. You can see 92, 93, 94, 95, 91. Everything looks as though it could be in the right place. As it begins to build the points, you can see uh, the rooms look very uniform. And uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, anything really out of place. So uh, I would say we can safely say that yes it is registered correctly uh, if you'd like to see the report right up above you here is the report 2.1 milliliter error uh, everything looks very very good we can just finish and go into explore now explore is going to always open this page here and try to give you a look at what's been done in 3d because these scans are not loaded and because there's no project point cloud built yet nothing's going to show up except for the scan locations so in order to see that we're just going to right click on the scans folder and load all scans now I'm doing this and keeping this open so you can see it build on the left on the scan tree you can see each of these scan numbers there's a blue box that will begin to appear and as it appears you'll see that it is now on your uh, 3D screen and that is when they're loaded they are all loaded at this point and we've got a very nice 3D model here because we've got green lights we can go in and we can do measuring in 2D we can do measuring in 3D we can take a look at any particular scan by double clicking it and see that in two dimensions I have not added color to it uh, as you can see it looks like a black and white photograph it is not this is actually just where the laser points have made contact and it looks like an ultra crystal clear black and white photograph uh, the good uh, thing about this and why I recommend not adding the color to the scan before you take a look at it and do your measurements is if this was poor lighting if there were no light at all uh, it would look no different than if the lights were on and and the scan was done uh, what will happen sometimes is you've got a scan project interior uh, and maybe there's uh, some shading some some equipment you can't see when where the, the light is not showing and it can be dark in areas uh, when you add the color when you don't add color you do not have any of those problems there are no shaded areas there's no overexposed areas from sunlight being outside everything will be crystal clear now again these are all 2d photos uh, in a bubble view and if we want to see just one of those scans in 3d we would just choose to look at that scan in 3d and just 
this particular scan location will pop up. We can take a look at it from the top. That's just one scan. So we've been successful in creating a uh, fully registered scan project. Uh, that would be step one. We can do everything from this point. Uh, we can add color. We can create a project point cloud. There's a lot of export options, uh, but we can get into that later. Uh, hope this helps you guys out and answers some questions. And good luck with future scan projects.